welcome to my channel today we are going to discuss about uh, the objective type questions from the topic uh, micro strip antenna and slot antenna okay so already uh, i posted the 10 videos uh, for the first unit and second unit so this is also a second unit topic micro strip and slot antenna so we will see the question the first one which antennas are reowned as patch antenna especially adopted for spacecraft application so which antenna is used for the spacecraft application aperture antenna micro strip array and lens antenna so the micro strip antenna so because of uh, the very uh, less weight uh, small in size this micro strip antenna is used in the spa spacecraft application okay then the next one the micro strip antenna was first introduced by dash okay marconi hertz uh, munshen and cassegrain so the uh, robert e uh, munshen has invented the micro strip antenna okay the next one the patch antennas or the antennas of small size and are made of dash the patch antennas are the antennas of small size and made of strip line micro strip line coaxial cable rectangular waveguide the micro strip line then the next one uh, the widely used shape for the patch antenna is dash so in patch antenna there are uh, different shapes are available rectangular circular elliptical parabolic but the widely most widely used shape is said to be the rectangular patch antenna then the next one the efficiency of the micro strip antenna is dash so it's a uh, low okay the efficiency of the micro strip antenna is it is a inefficient uh, thing so the efficiency is very low the next one the antennas which offer high operational bandwidth and antenna parameters are maintained over a wide range of uh, wide range of frequency are called dash okay wide band antenna so the antenna uh, it offers the high operational bandwidth okay the bandwidth is very high and the antenna parameters are uh, maintained for that wide range so it is called as a wide band antennas the high directivity required in radar communication is satisfied using this type of antenna so high directivity is a main thing in radar communication so in that radar communication which type of antenna we are using wide band antenna antenna array slot antenna patch antenna so the antenna array so in order to increase the directivity so we may connect the similar antennas uh, in some uh, array format that is said to be the antenna arrays okay so the higher directivity so why we are using this uh, antenna array in radar communication means so the higher directivity is the requirement in point to point communication so the higher directivity is achieved by uh, increasing the size of the antenna in terms of electrical length so that's why in order to provide the high directivity we are using the antenna array okay the next one patch antennas are dash so patch antennas are very compact okay patch antennas are very small in size and it's a very compact then the patch antennas are made up of dielectric material it's a yes or no okay the patch antennas are made up of uh, it's not made up of dielectric material it is uh, made with uh, that is it uh, the construction of the patch antenna so uh, that is we are fabricating above the dielectric material the next one for producing the circular polarized waves the shape of the patch antenna is dash okay for producing circularly polarized wave which shape of patch antenna we have to use rectangular circular elliptical and parabolic circular so in order to produce the circular polarized wave the shape of the patch antenna it should be is a circular in nature okay then what are the advantages of micro strip antenna small size less weight low cost all of the above so all of the above is answer so the greatest advantage of the micro strip antenna is that it's a very small size less in weight and low cost okay then the micro strip antennas 
are used for the frequency range above 100 megahertz okay so this antenna it is used for the range above 100 megahertz and the bandwidth of the microstrip antenna it is small okay the bandwidth of microstrip antenna it is small then in microstrip antennas the beam width can be increased by dash the thickness of the strip so if you want to increase the beam width okay beam width of microstrip antenna uh, the thickness of the strip may be increasing decreasing both a and b none of the above we have to increase by increasing the thickness of the uh, microstrip we may increase the beam width then the next one if the reactive component is added in microstrip antenna uh, the uh, bandwidth is increased okay in microstrip if we are uh, the reactive component is added the bandwidth is increased the statement is true or false so it's a true only then the next one slot antenna so a slot antenna can be excited by a waveguide yes it's a correct only the slot antenna we may excited by waveguide or energized cavity or a coax uh, transmission line Okay, so using this one, we can excite. So a slot antenna can be excited by the energized cavity. Okay, it is also correct. Then a slot antenna can be excited by transmission line. It's also correct. So a slot antenna can be excited by transmission line or waveguide and so on. Okay, then the next one, for slot uh, in a conducting sheet, there exists a complementary dipole. Okay, so for a slot in a conducting sheet, there exists a complementary dipole. Yes. Okay. Then slot of small length to width ratio increases the bandwidth. So in slot antenna, the small width to uh, small length to width ratio it increases the bandwidth. Okay, so it is also correct. So depending upon the uh, this length to width ratio the bandwidth is uh, depending okay then the horizontal slot produces vertically polarized radiation field it's it's also true so in slot antenna the horizontal slot antenna produces the vertically polarized uh, waves yeah the vertically uh, vertical antenna produces the horizontally polarized waves okay then the next one if the impedance of the dipole is inductive the slot impedance is capacitive. So for one dipole, the impedance is inductive means, so the corresponding slot antenna is having the impedance is capacitive. It is correct, okay. Similarly, if the impedance of the slot is capacitive, the impedance of the complementary dipole is inductive. It is also correct. Opposite in nature. Then from slot antenna in a conducting plane, its complementary dipole is formed by interchanging air and metallic region in the slot. Okay, it's a correct. So in slot and complementary dipole, uh, if the slot is having the metallic region, means the complementary dipole is having uh, the air. If the slot is having the empty, means the complementary dipole is having the metallic region. So it is a correct only. Then the slot gain is increased by array slot okay so if you want to increase uh, the uh, gain of that particular slot antenna so we may increase the array slot that is array of a slot antenna we may connect it is also true okay then array of slot is used in dash the array of slot is used in aircraft in aircraft we are using instead of using one single slot we may use the array of slots okay then the radiation pattern of annular slot antenna is dash. The radiation pattern of annular slot antenna, it is a very narrow beam, okay, very narrow beam width. And then the next one, in slot antenna, there's a important two more problem is that. So you see, the terminal impedance of dipole is 710 ohms, okay. The impedance of dipole antenna is 710 ohms. Find the terminal impedance of the slot antenna given the intrinsic impedance of the air is 377 ohms okay so here uh, so already you know the relation between uh, the terminal impedance of the dipole 
terminal impedance of the slot antenna and the intrinsic impedance. So what is the relation between these three things means? So you see, uh, that is uh, the product of EZS into EZD, where EZS is the impedance of slot antenna, EZD is the impedance of uh, dipole antenna. So the product EZS, EZD is equal to eta naught squared divided by four. So where this eta naught is said to be the intrinsic impedance. So from that equation, so here EZD is given, eta naught is given. So from that, our aim is to find out EZS, the terminal impedance of the slot. So the terminal impedance of the slot EZS is equal to eta naught squared by four into EZT. So you just substitute. So eta naught is 377 squared divided by four into 710. So if you're solving, we will get the answer as 50. So the 50 ohms is the answer. Okay, so using this question, sometime uh, uh, they may give, uh, that is uh, this one. Okay, the dipole impedance of slot antenna given. We have to find out the terminal impedance of the dipole also. Okay, so this is the relation. Then the next one, the notch antenna are used in aircraft. Yes, it is also correct. Notch antenna, it's also your own type of antenna. The notch antenna are used in edges of wing surface of aircraft. This notch antenna is used in the edges of wing surface of the aircraft. Yes, it is correct. Then the notch antenna, it's a wide band antenna. Yes, it's a wide band antenna. Then the purpose of uh, dielectric filling of notch is dash. The purpose of the dielectric filling of notch is to eliminate the aerodynamic drag in aircraft. So this is the purpose of that uh, dielectric filling of the notch. Oh, these are all the some of the questions uh, about the microstrip antenna and slot antenna. So we will see. In the next video, we will discuss about the third unit uh, questions, antenna array questions. Okay, so thanks for watching my channel and please subscribe my channel for more videos and uh, share this video to your friends also. Thank you.